So hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this videos, we will continue our talk about the ANOVA and or in other words, uh, talk about the experiment design. So this is still about a single factor experiment. So here in our previous videos, we already talk about uh, we can use about the total sample mean, uh, like a y bar dot dot, to estimate our mu, and uh, also uh, we can use about the uh, estimator of our tau hat i, and also the estimator of our epsilon term, epsilon i j. So then, uh, if we talk about the this one, so what we have is. Because we have the estimator or estimation of our parameters here, so the other question is what is a confidence interval? So this is what we want to talk about in this videos. So in our last videos, we already said our estimator of mu and our estimator of sigma we are using by our mu hat and our uh, ms mean of square e is a best estimator. Uh, so now here what we have, we can have a statistic t looks like uh, as a t distribution. So in other words, if we look at our sample mean under the treatment, follows a normal distribution with a mean mu i and a variance a sigma i square. So based on this one, what we can have, we can have a uh, construct a statistic. So or in other words, we, if we want to normalize or standardize, uh, standardize this one, we can have this um, numerator of will follows a standard normal distribution, right? But the question is here, we don't know what is the value of our variance. So what we should do is we should use the estimator to replace uh, this uh, sigma uh, i. So what we will use, of course, we can use the sample variance of our mean of square e here. So this will change uh, this statistic to to a t distribution. So here the denominator is the square root of our mean square e divided by n. And this one for this uh, t of uh, t distribution, what is the uh, degree of freedom? So here the degree of freedom is a times n minus one. So this is a uh, degree of freedom for this t distribution. So when we have this one as follows a t degree of a uh, degree distribution, then of course, uh, if you look at our previous videos about the confidence intervals, the we will have our confidence intervals after uh, under a uh, one hundred one minus alpha percentage confidence level, uh, for this our mu i. So here, of course, I will skip the steps in this video. So if you want to find the exact step and why, we can write the confidence interval like this. So please look at my previous videos. And so here, we, I just write down the conclusion. So the confidence interval is, looks like this. So this one is, uh, if you look at our uh, previous videos about the confidence intervals, uh, which is follows uh, the variance is unknown. So this is uh, exactly look like this. So then, uh, I have we have a uh, one more topics about in this videos. So this uh we already done about the confidence intervals on the treatment mean, but what people more interested when they talk about or when they design an experiment, the experiment like we change the do uh do dosage of the. Uh, medicine to for their patients. We want to know the difference. Actually, people don't care about the similar thing. What people care about is care about the difference. So then, similarly, uh, in previous video, we talk about use a hypothesis test to check about the different sample mean, mu1, mu2, until mu a. 
And then here, what people want to do use a confidence interval. They want to use a confidence to get a interval or confidence interval for the estimation of the difference of y i uh, bar minus y k dot bar. So this one, what we want to do is, so for this one, of course, we still use the uh, uh, sample mean, uh, so y i bar and y k bar to estimate our mu i and mu k. So that means we can use the difference between this sample mean to estimate our difference between the treatment mean. So here, because each of this uh, sample mean follows a normal distribution. Then by the property of normal distribution, we know this difference is still follows a normal distribution. And now the question is, what is the variance here? So here, if we write down the variance of this uh, difference, uh, yi dot bar minus yk dot bar, then uh, we know this by the property of the variance, we can have this is equal 2 sigma square divided by n. So of course here, uh, I skip the computing process. If you're interested, just leave a comment. Uh, maybe I will provide it later. And uh, so here, of course, what we can have is to construct a confidence interval. We know the original estimator is follows the normal distribution. And then if we know the variance, then we can use like what we do previous about the confidence interval and the treatment mean, we can use the standard uh, standardize of the normal distribution and the normal table to help us construct the confidence interval and to find the, uh, the left end point and right end point. But here, in general, we don't know the variance. So what we should do is we should use an uh, estimation or estimator to replace the variance uh, sigma square. So similar with the previous video, we still use the mean square e, m s e, to replace because this is an uh, best estimator of our variance. So follows on this one, we can construct a t statistics. It looks like this. So for the numerator, it still looks like the sample mean minus the uh, uh, mean. And the only is we change the difference between the mean here. And the denominator is then still the standard de deviation. But here we use uh, the MSE to replace our sigma square. So of course, this T uh, statistic, it still follows a T distribution. And then for our T distribution, we still uh, need to find the degree of freedom. So here for this one, similar to our previous part, so this degree of freedom is still about a times n minus 1. So now we have this as our t statistics, and then what we can do, we can find the 101 minus alpha percentage confidence interval. So of course, I skip the steps here again. Please look at my previous video about the t uh, t uh, confidence interval for this part. Uh, but I just write down the conclusion here. Uh, this is look like this. So here, uh, of course, um, when we have the value when we plug in the data, we can compute the sample mean yi dot bar and yk dot bar. And then the next thing is after we find the value of our t statistic, we just need to look at our t table and then find the value and plug in it to this equation. So the only thing here I want you to care about is for this part, please remember uh, for inside our square root, we have a uh, 2 in the numerator here. So this one is a uh, very uh, important because for my experience, many of the students will forgot this 2 when they use the table. Even when they write down the formula correctly, but when they use calculator, they will forgot it. So please remember of this one. So this is how we can find the confidence interval for the difference of the treat, treatment mean.
So this is our part of the confidence interval for the uh, the single vector experiment design. So uh, see you in the next videos. And please uh, subscribe my videos. And in my next videos, I will talk a little more about the multiple comparison of the our treatment in fact.